I guess you could have a podcast without a professional intro, but I highly recommend against doing that. That's why in this video, I'm going to walk you through a simple hack on being able to create a professional intro or semi-professional, whatever you'd like to call it, in GarageBand. I'm Sebastian Rusk, and I help marketers and entrepreneurs start a podcast. Now, you've probably heard a podcast or two or 10 or 100 with great intros. Intros get the listener excited about the show. It informs them about what the show is all about and what to expect from the show. Absolutely vital when having a podcast. Okay, first thing you're going to do is open up GarageBand on your Mac, and you're going to see a screen that looks just like this. You're going to choose Empty Project. You could choose voice if you wanted to. Definitely not anything that pertains to instruments because we're just recording a voice track. So I use empty project for these types of things. There's less going on within GarageBand. It's easier to navigate around. So when I choose empty project, it's going to open up a new, well, you guessed it, empty project. It's going to ask you to choose what track type. We're not using any instruments here. We're just recording audio via voice. So we're going to choose the microphone option and click create. Now you want to make sure these options at the top are off. You don't want anyone counting during your voiceover or that tapping sound that musicians utilize when keeping the beat. Not sure what the name of it is right now. Anyway, uh, the first step is to record the voiceover. So I'm going to do that right now with just a silly example of what it potentially could sound like. And then we're going to add music and then tie it all together. So to record, I'm going to hit the big red button right here, dead giveaway and begin recording. Hey, everybody, welcome to my podcast show. My name is Sebastian, and this show is all about underwater basket weaving. Did you know underwater basket weaving can be interesting? Yeah, so interesting, you can actually start a podcast about it. I'd like to thank you for taking time to listen to my podcast about underwater basket weaving. And well, let's get underwater and start weaving baskets. Okay, so that was obviously a ridiculous example of being able to create a voiceover intro, but you get the idea. You can make it your own. Next thing I want to do is I want to import a track from my computer that's going to be a background song, okay? So I'm going to go to search, and I'm going to go to this song, and I'm gonna drag and drop this song right into GarageBand. Now, if I start playing this song immediately, it's gonna be really loud. Hey everybody. So I'm probably, and I don't want the voiceover to start right away, so I'm gonna bring down this volume. I can always test it out. Still a little loud. Less is more when we're dealing with background music, so way down. Hey everybody, welcome to my podcast show. Now I'm a little low, so I want to bring me up just a little bit and make sure that music is brought way low. The type of track that you're utilizing here uh, is going to be music background. So whatever setting you see here, you can utilize for the background music, whatever seems to be the most relevant. Sometimes no effects is the easiest. Hey everybody, welcome to my podcast show. My name is Sebastian and this show is all about underwater basket weaving. Did you know underwater basket weaving can be interesting? Yeah, so interesting you can actually start a podcast about it. I'd like to thank you for taking time to listen to my podcast about underwater basket weaving. And well, let's get underwater and start weaving baskets. So I was adjusting a few things during that because my voice seemed a little low. The music seemed a little loud still. I turned the music way down. I turned me up and we're going to try it one more time. Hey everybody, welcome to my podcast show. My name is Sebastian and this show is all about underwater basket weaving. Did you know underwater basket weaving? So as you can see, I can adjust the volumes. I'm going to go here and take this track and I'm going to end it right here because that's all that I need. And then you can choose an option. You can go up here, you can choose track, you can choose record, mix, fade out, you can fade out the volume. You don't wanna fade it out too far. You wanna keep it pretty steady through the end of the song because obviously it will fade out in the middle. So careful with the fade out option. You can figure out which works best for you, but you definitely want to, um, fade out the music at the very end. 
just so that it sounds as professional as possible. You can actually fade the music coming in too if you'd like. But after this is all done, you go in here and you click share and you're going to click export to a disc and you're going to call it my new podcast intro and then you're going to save it and export it and then it's going to it's going to save directly to your desktop or whatever folder you designated so if you're if you happen to be a pc user and you're watching this i don't know why you would be but you can use audacity if you're a mac user you can use audacity too it's the same basic concept record your voiceover add additional track which is the background music adjust it adjust the volumes export it and voila you've got an intro same applies for an outro so i hope this explains things a little bit more in depth this is a very elementary podcast intro recording 101 type of video. I'm not an audio engineer by any stretch of the imagination. This is just an average uh, guy, me, opening up GarageBand and seeing what's possible. And this is what I've come up with. And if I can't figure it out within GarageBand, well, I just make my way over to an audio editor uh, that can tweak things and, and edit accordingly that I may not know how to do. But this is at least a great start and way better than not having an intro for your podcast. Well, I hope you're leaving this video knowing at least one or two or maybe even three things that you did not know about creating a professional podcast intro in GarageBand. If you have any questions about creating an intro, about this video, about any videos on the channel, please leave a comment below. I do respond to each and every one of you lovely people. It is my distinct pleasure. I'm Sebastian Rusk, signing off from the podcast Launch Lab YouTube Studio. Until next time.